Hey everybody, Boris Schlossberg, BK Trader FX. Time to do our weekly review for the week of March 17th through March 21st. Interesting week of trade. We had a very, very good week of trade. Made 122 points. Both trades worked out well. So let's start out with the first one. Dolly Cat short, Monday, March 17th. We get short 99.88, right around here at around uh, 4.35 o'clock in the afternoon uh, on a couple of assumptions. Basically, Dollar Cat was actually rising from its lower Bollinger Band channel and was meeting 20 SMA resistance on a technical level. So it was still in a downtrend, basically trying to hit its resistance. But the more interesting reason was we were very hot Canadian CPI. We thought the Canadian CPI was going to be much better than expected because uh, retail sales were better, merchandise trade was, was hotter, and you know we thought the number was going to be better than the market expected. The other interesting thing about the CAD trade that I think you'll find sort of unique to the dollar cat pair is this we come in at the end of the day and dollar cat is one of the most maddening trades one of the most maddening pairs to make because typically it tends to reverse the price action of North America into Asia so when you're coming in at the highs and you're short the pair you're sort of giving yourself double the chances because the natural flow if you for example if we came in here for a long there's always a danger that Do Dollar Cat is going to just retrace on you for no other reason than simply correction. I mean, this is the crazy part about this pair because it's so illiquid and dealers need to square up their positions and they love to just fade you uh, for no reason. And of course, we were we were fading the high here because we had a fundamental reason. So it, everything just really worked out our way. We got almost at the top tick. The thing just trended down all the way for the rest of the Asia session. K covered up first half in Asia session. I moved the stop to uh, plus 50 in the money at around 99.58 over here. And of course, the other interesting thing about Dollar Cat is come around Europe. It will do all sorts of crazy moves. I put this, here's my stop was like right around here. I moved it over here and we actually got taken out on a big retrace back up, right? Which is what Dollar Cat will do. It will do this like 30 point move in 10 minutes for no absolute reason and take you out. But you have to be very, very careful and continue to manage your trade. If you just sort of let it go, the danger could be the following, that the thing could just simply keep going up. Now, the irony of the whole thing is, is yes, CPI was, was hot. We, of course, unfortunately got taken out, didn't get the full value of the trade. But for the rest of the week, watch this thing. This thing just started to skyrocket all the way up. Fundamental data in Canada has been good. None of it has mattered because it's been being driven by fears of spillover effect out of the United States. So that's why Dolly Cat is a very treacherous pair to trade, but one that you can do well if you understand its internal dynamics. The next trade was a much more conventional trade. I'm going to show you the um, I'm going to show you the daily chart first because I think this is very interesting. This is Euro Pound. We were actually uh, bullish Euro Pound because uh, there was UK data that was coming up that we were bearish. We were coming in at this candle over here. Now, what's interesting about this particular chart is the following. Remember I talked about the fact of trading with the flow, that the most important thing in, in currency is to, to try to trade with the flow. As you can see, your pound has been in an unambiguous, complete and total uptrend for a very long time. So when you get this big red candle, but the currency pair still remains in an uptrend, the intelligent thing to do, if you have a fundamental kicker behind you, is to join the trend, not to fade it. The most, the, the rookie thing to do is to say, oh, I got a red candle on the upper Bollinger Band. It means it's completely over, overbought and I really want to start fading it. In fact, you're probably going to get more flow because all of this power behind you is just not going to quit on the first candle. And indeed, there was a couple of interesting things that happened. Most uh, powerful is that we actually never even got to the fundamental kicker because overnight, we had fears uh, that HBOS, a big English bank, big mortgage lender bank in, in UK, was going to go the way of Bear Stearns. The rumors turned out to be false, but uh, it gave tremendous lift to the Euro Pound. We actually went up like 60 or 70 points in a matter of an hour. I've never seen Euro Pound ver verticalize so much. We're able to lock in 62 points on his trade, which is like equivalent to 124 regular points. It was just a beautiful trade. But why it worked was because at that time the market was still very very concerned about risk and remember risk is pounds middle name so when you're going long your pound you're actually uh, risk averse trading and this was a perfect example of how this risk averse trade buying on the weakness over here but still an uptrend really worked out very well so going with the flow fading dollar cad all sorts of little tricks of the trade that we did this week that really worked out well i wish you the best of luck i'll see you next week this is boris lasberg for bktu